Hi, Daniel Lombard from Divide Defense. Uh, Divide Defense is a Chicago-based company. We do firearms training, both for beginners, concealed carry, and a lot of tactical next-level training. Today, we're out at the range. We have the guest instructor, Chris Peranto. Ben Morgan. 300 blackout. Benny Glossop coming out from Battle Line Tactical. On, no, no, be... What I try and do is bring in uh, experts in the field to ver verify and vindicate the training that we're giving. It's a good check to always check your instructors actually teaching what's current. You know, uh, a lot of what we're working on is vehicle defense, so we're hoping to do some combatives away from the vehicle to get some basic standing you know, cover, cover points, defensive tactics points, in-fight weapons access, weapons retention. And then once we learn that away from the vehicle, we'll learn how to Go. apply the same tactics inside a vehicle if you're in a fight in the vehicle or someone's trying to reach you from outside the vehicle. Beautiful thing is, is combatives is combatives. It doesn't have to change if you're in a small space or a large space. Technique is technique, so we're gonna apply from both angles. And think about moving, I'll blow your head off. I think that the most important thing that I try to preach on a daily basis, if you're going to be a responsible concealed carry holder, that means you have to train. And you need combatives. You need to do moving targets like your fancy machine that you built. If you go to the range and you shoot a piece of steel or you shoot a piece of paper and that target does not move or really challenge you other than just trying to hit it, then when it comes time to be in a chaotic or panic situation, you don't have actual movement training, you don't have actual combatives training, you're going to most likely fail. What was most important for me about being in the military um, and being in the service community is its, uh, its community and its training. And at the baseline, uh, human beings, which What's made us special and, uh, and what has put us on top of the mountain is that we work together and we improve ourselves through training. There's no such thing as a badass. There's only trained and untrained. And uh, this is a way to work on the hard skills and the soft skills of community. Shooting is the last thing that's going to happen. The things before that are, are you have to be aware of your surroundings. You have to be aware of your environment. You have to know and be comfortable with what holsters you have so you know how to employ that weapon system without shooting yourself in the leg, which a lot of you guys out there, I know, I know a couple that have shot yourselves in the leg trying to do that fast, cool, quick draw. Then you also have these match guns out there that people are using with the light triggers. If you're going to use a light trigger, you especially have to be able to man manage where your holster is and, and employing your gun because you, you could just click that thing off and shoot yourself or shoot someone that, that doesn't need to be. As we pretty much wrap up this defensive tactics vehicle class, you got to see one of the training aids that we've used. The remote control rubber dummy, it brings a new dimension to training, brings realism to it. Three-dimensional moving target, you gotta think, you gotta move, you gotta shoot. You gotta do it quickly. So if you've never done that before, uh, we're a really good opportunity to try uh, that realistic type training. We got to do defensive tactics in the vehicles, we shot through vehicles, windshields, deployed from the cars, a whole host of skills that were uh, shown to the class. Thanks to Battle Line Tactical, Chris, Ben and Benny, they did a phenomenal job as usual, once again. Uh, we look forward to having them back next year. But we really touched on a lot of different topics that uh, we don't always get to do.